Welcome dear audience, students and scholars. Here I am Dr. Amjad Ali. In this video, we will learn augmented Dickey Fuller unit root test, uh, which is a more famous ADF unit root test 9081. Dear scholars, in this video, we will specifically uh, learn how to conduct uh, ADF test in e views and what is the uh, easy interpretation of ADF test. Uh, after the uh, after getting the results from e views stationarity and non stationarity dear scholars stationarity and non stationarity uh, theoretical concept has been explained in uh, an other video so you have to if you want to learn about the stationarity and non stationarity so watch that uh, video specifically so if the data is non-stationary, non -stationary, it has a unit root problem and it has a random work. If data is non-stationary, we cannot apply OLS. And if there is a trend or unit root in data, there is autocorrelation problem. If R squared is very high and DW is very low, then estimated regression is a spurious or nonsense. Some financial time series such as stock price expectations also create random bug and autocorrelation problem in data. Regression model involving time series used for forecasting and non-stationarity of the data mislead the forecasting. Note, keep in mind always that mostly time series data have created auto uh, correlate to random work and unit root problem. So, uh, if our data is a non stationary, or no, uh, if our data has a non stationarity issue, then we cannot apply OLS. And a non -stationary, uh, stationary series can be made stationary with the help of augmented Dickey Fuller unit root test, which is, uh, I have explained that, uh, uh, known as DF unit root test ADF unit root test sorry so here we uh, are going to conduct uh, ADF test in e views so open e views so when you uh, click on open e views this uh, type of window will be open in front of you so see here we have a create a, a new work file, open an existing file, open a form file, uh, eviews illustrated, our uh, eviews help our online tutors. So see uh, uh, for the time series you first have the arrange data because we know that in time series data we cannot uh, afford the missing values and keep in mind that eviews uh, uh, cannot uh, uh, afford this uh, space in, in, the, in the title of the variable so that's why you can use the abbreviation uh, for the title of the, of the variable like here we have a, a foreign direct investment and uh, the second variable is inflation rate so we uh, uh, we we shorten the name or we, we are using the abbreviation of these variables and we have the data range from 1980 to 2013. So here we have a data range 1980 to uh, 2013 so click on create a new work file. Here we have a annual uh, data so that's why I click on the annual and we have a regular frequency so that's why it will be a regular frequency start date is 1980 2013 when you uh, type 1980 to 2030 click on okay so see here we have uh, 2 uh, a new series generated that is constant which is zero zero because we have not put the data here here we have a residual so we have not uh, independent dependent variable so that's why our residual is also any so uh, there are two main process for taking the data in e views the, 
the uh, uh, extensively use is the import import data from where but uh, another method uh, to take the data into the eviews select the name of the variables and the data of the whole series so copy and then click on the command bar and here type a data press enter and you see a new worksheet here so if you copy the title uh, of the variable the name of the variable so so press uh, this arrow and you will find a an empty uh, a row here so this is for the title or name of the variables so here you press control v or paste you paste the data and then you close this window and when you close this window the data is uh, come to the our main window bar we are conducting uh, a unit root test augmented dicky fuller unit root test so first we have uh, here we have a data in a growth rate uh, um, inflation is in a weight form and uh, uh, fbi is an absolute form so uh, first we have to convert fdi into the log form so you have to click on the rate and then uh, rename uh, or type the name of uh, uh, fdi like we are typing here ln and then uh, type log and then type the name exact name home variable you are taking the log and bracket on the both side of the variable and then press ok we find a new variable here if you want to take the log of inflation rate then you click on uh, type ln and inflation equal log log of inflation so here you type the name uh, home you are taking the log and then uh, bracket and then press ok so see here we have a new variable ln fdi and ln inflation now we want to conduct uh, uh, augmented Dicky Fuller unit root test. So click double click on FDI and when you double click FDI, click on view and here we have a unit root test. Here we have a unit root test. Click on OK. So when you click on the OK, here you see the different uh, tests are uh, for the time series are available like DF, PP, KPPS and different other ng parent tests are available but here we are conducting only adf unit root test and there are other options are available like level first difference second difference intercept prime and uh, trend and intercept and none so and here we have a lag selection criteria different criterions are available like uh, Kai criteria Schwarz criteria and by default Schwarz criterion has been has been given and here we have a, uh, a unit root ADF test at level so don't change uh, anything or use the user specific lag click on ok and when you press ok and then you copy this this part only this part for the uh, variable name and then paste it in word file and see here our variable is not stationary so we we are uh, deciding the stationarity and non-stationarity on the basis of uh, probability value if the probability value is significant and we can say that our variable is stationary so a variable not stationary then we click on view and then click on unit root and then press on first difference and click ok and then see we have a probability value is less than zero so copy this part and paste it in the word file and then if it is if it is significant then we can say that our variable is a stationary at first difference so open the uh, close this and then open the other variable that inflation rate and click on view and then unit root test here we have augmented dicky fuller test first we have to conduct 
for every variable we first start from the level and then move to the first difference second difference or if uh, on the first difference or second difference is not stationary then you can use intercept trend or none and sometime you can use the uh, you can change the uh, uh, um, uh, lag selection criteria and sometimes you can use the use a specific uh, uh, lags for uh, 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 for the stationarity of your variable so click again click on the lever and then press ok so see here again our, uh, you, uh, our inflation rate is not stationary at level but we have to copy this uh, result and paste it in in word file and then we have click on view we have to click on view and unit root test and here we click on false difference and okay and see here we have a probability value is uh, less than 0 0.00 so we can say that our variable is stationary here our variable is stationary but you have to copy that results and paste it in word file so uh, why we are uh, putting these result in uh, uh, in, our, in, in the word file because we have to make some professional table with the help of these outcomes so uh, when you have uh, all the variables outcome unit root outcomes in the form of uh, word file then you can uh, generate a self-explanatory table from uh, from this outcome Okay, when you get the uh, eViews outcome uh, in the word uh, in the word file, then you can make uh, the professional table from uh, from uh, from that uh, little tables. Like we have a here augmented key fuller unit root test. We have a, 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 a t statistic and probability value at level and for the first difference. So he, yes, you can see that our all variables are not stationary at level, and but our all variables are stationary at first difference. Either our variables are stationary at uh, uh, one percent, five percent, and ten percent level of significance. This is the this is the one way of uh, uh, making a final professional tables. And this is the another way to make the final professional tables. You can uh, uh, you can uh, conduct uh, uh, eViews uh, augmented Dicky Fuller uh, unit root test independent for all the variables separately. So keep in mind we have to conduct a unit root test for each variable separately. So this is the uh, two uh, final mm, tables. Uh, we have a same result, but uh, 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 putting the final uh, self-explanatory table, we have a two uh, um, uh, example here. So here we have the uh, interpretation of the augmented Dicky-Fuller unit root test. We have uh, we know that it is a proved fact that time series data contains unit root problem and regression results of this data are spurious. So far, the solution of the unit root problem this study has uh, this study uses augmented Dicky-Fuller unit root test. The calculated results of augmented Dicky-Fuller test are presented in table a like let's say this is uh, our table a the results show that uh, uh, total labor force productivity human development index domestic investment domestic investment foreign direct investment globalization and inflation rate are not stationary at level so see here we are all variable are not stationary at level so for the interpretation point of view you have to write the complete title or complete name of the variables but in table you uh, you only highlight the abbreviation um, abbreviations or a short name of the variables so uh, so uh, this is the uh, starting interpretation of uh, of uh, the adf adf unit root test that our all variables are not stationary at uh, uh, 
uh, level but uh, at the first difference all all the variables of the model become stationary they show that there always a same order of integration among the selected variable if your some variables are stationary at level and some are uh, stationary at first difference so we can uh, give the interpretation that our variables uh, are mixed order of integration and when we have a same order of integration then we can apply uh, simple OLS or Johansson or anger granger uh, 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 correlation uh, uh, sorry co uh, uh, co integration method but when we have uh, some variable at level and some variable at four difference then we can apply ARBL auto regressive distributed lag model for finding the long run and short run uh, relationship among the explanatory variable and uh, explained variable so if you have uh, uh, some variable are uh, uh, are not stationary at level and uh, some are stationary at level to, then you have to put uh, the title or name of those variables which are not stationary at level and sometimes for uh, for the uh, for the uh, for for the for those student, uh, students or researchers who are in new in research, uh, they can they can uh, explain that uh, uh, the significance level as well for their interpretation because in thesis we have to provide a detailed interpretation, but in a research paper we have to concise our interpretation because in uh, in research paper we have some word limit as well, but for the thesis point of view we have to provide a detailed information so here you can provide uh, uh, significance level like you, you can say that total level productivity is a significant as, at uh, uh, one person and uh, um, HDI index is uh, stationary at five percent and uh, <coughs> dependency ratio is stationary at ten percent level of significance and uh, domestic investment is significant at at one person like that FDI is also significant at one person globalization is also at one person and uh, inflation is also significant and stationary at one person level of significance so this is the um, easiest interpretation of the ADF unit test so see you with another video ciao